Can you move this? Uh, this one you are probably going to have to sit on a chair, and Alan. Actually, this is the only one that you have to sit on a chair for. This is the Arnie Schwarzenegger one. Okay, so we're going to drop down. Everyone else can go into a bit more of a twist. I'm not an Esmeralda. I don't want you to go into the twist either. I'd like you to be relatively up straight because of our backs are a little bit vulnerable at the moment. But everyone else can drop right down if they choose to. The arm is resting on the knee. Esmeralda, you and I are going to be more upright. And we're going to do six, not that far down, Anella. Yeah, and we're going to do 60 reps. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, only fifty to go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, forty more. So I was looking at the loose skin on my arm today, very unhappy about it. And I said to Maddie, what is this? Why have I got this? And she said, honey, that's just age and that's why you need to keep on lifting weights. hit 45 and the skin is changing and it's annoying but we can't avoid it ladies we can just keep on working on it how many more 30 10 20 to go 20 more one Two, three, four. So if it's starting to hurt your back, you can always sit up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten. Ten, nine, eight. Can you move them that way? It's annoying. Seven. Changing arms. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look at your shoulder muscles, Lee. Wow. Nice. Okay, if it starts to hurt the lower back, you can always sit upright. You do not have to do the twist. My back doesn't particularly like the twist.
rotate the arm. So we've just done biceps like this. We're now going into a hammer bicep. So we change the shape of the, the, the humerus head and bring it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty more. One, two, three, four. Five. So from here on, um, Anella, you can sit down or stand up, depending upon what you want to do for your body. Mm. Sit down. Okay. Mm. Ten. Open up through the shoulders. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. So if you're going to stand up, I would suggest you do like a series of different squats. One. So you do parallel squats, rotated squats, turned out squats. Okay, I'm going to drop down to my 0.5 weights now because I don't want to go too heavy for my, my trapeze. We're going to take our arms directly to the sides, shoulders drop down, and pump it in. One, two, three,
nine, ten. Have a small rest. Ten, ten, and if you can, flick it around for ten. If this one here doesn't work for you, come back to this position. Pushing again from your deltoid bicep connection point, pressing up, one, two, three, four, five, six, elbows a bit more narrow, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sylvia, see if you can get your elbows a little bit more aligned with your shoulders. And swapping, palms facing you, and pump one, two, three, palms facing you, four, five, six, that's it, seven, eight, nine, ten, palms facing me, pump, one, Woo. two, three, four, ow, oh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, have a little rest. Give those arms a little bit of a shake now. Okay. Palms facing your chin. We open to a W position. We come up above our head, we tap. We come back to the W. And then we close when we're aligned with our chin. W, tap, back to the W, close, 20 reps, tap, use your back, use your back muscles, contract your abdominals, we're not going to be doing a lot of abs today so you're going to have to contract it and use the pelvic floor, use your transverse abdominals at different moments throughout the exercise. As you come back in, let those hands come across in front of your chin, not in front of your forehead. W across in front of the chin. That's it. Open. Press. Back. And as you close, Sylvia, they come in front of your chin. Chin, chin, chin. Down low here. And the palms are facing you, Sylvia. That's it. Palms face you in front of your chin. Again, this is going to be all arms today, so there are going to have probably moments where you need to just have a little moment just to kind of reassure your shoulders that they're okay. Sorry about the sound of the drill. It gives me the heebie jeebies, it makes me feel like I'm back at that dentist. Don't plan on going back to. I've got to get the other wisdom tooth out, they say. I'm not sure about that. I might think about it for another 25 years. And resting. Palms facing the ceiling. Arms open. Shoulder blades open. Opening one. This one's a good one for you, Lee. This is good for your back. Open. Pull back from the back muscles and close. Draw the pelvic floor up. Feel like your belly button has been press studded in towards your lumbar spine. So the lumbar spine and the belly button have gone click together. 
and then the pelvic floor has gone click up. Click everything into place. Click everything into place. We're only doing 20 of these. to do a whole workout without any resistance and just use your own body. It feels different and it's actually kind of like pleasurable because you can kind of just think about what your structure is doing rather than struggling with the weight. as well. Nice neutral spine position if you're sitting on the chair. Pelvic floors up. Keep opening those shoulders up. Just doing 20 reps. We've got heaps more to do from here after we finish. So I wanted to put a couple of classes in the new program on the actual library that if you want to go and do a whole hour of arms, that you've got a couple of classes that you can just blitz and do your hour session of arms in between our normal sessions. Hence today's all arms. And it's summer. And we have to be in our bikinis. Okay, do anything. I was going to do 20. That's 20. And stop. All right, come into standing position. We're going to do our single arm triceps. Then we're going to do another lat exercise. Then we're going to do some push-ups against the wall. Stretching. 
Um, it is something that's important, so use this as your calf stretch moment. Roll the shoulder back, elbow up, and extend one. Keep your wrist nice and strong. Two, don't do this. Don't do that. It needs to be that. Five, four, five, six, seven. Sylvia, your elbow needs to be up a little bit more. It's a little low. And then try not to move the elbow so it doesn't come backwards and forwards. It stays up and it's just the forearm that moves. Better. We're doing 30 reps of these ladies. Keep reaching back through that back foot so you can feel that calf muscle stretching. Changing sides. Press back through your calf muscles so you get that nice stretch. Shoulder goes back. Elbow comes up. Elongate out with a nice strong wrist. One. Two. So Anella, you look to me like you're doing that with your wrist. See if you can give it a little bit more square. No. You look like you're doing that. It needs to be like that. Maybe it's just the shape of your wrist, actually. You can feel your tricep. Sixteen. Sorry. Seventeen. 
18, 19, 20. Oh, okay, let pause. Last one before we go to the wall. Slightly bend forward. Okay, this is important that we're in an extension here. Okay, we are not in flexion. Very important aspect for our backs. Pull it up. One. Hold it at the top. Whew. Two. Squeeze. Three. Squeeze. Now, as you pull it up, suck your belly up. Four. Suck your belly up. Five. Pull your pelvic floor up. Six. Seven. Eight. We go back to our biceps and our triceps because they haven't quite had enough just yet. It's shoulder as well. We're going to bicep curl up one, twist it, press, back, twist, and down. One, push, back, twist, drop, bicep, twist, down, twist, and drop. Bicep, twist, push. I feel like a cheerleader. Push. Woo! <laughs> Something I've never done in my life is cheerleading. Twenty of these. Keep sucking those bellies back. Keep drawing that pelvic floor up. Go. Bye, Lee. Nearly there. Last one. Flip. Bicep twist. Push. If you're in a squat, we can now maybe change to a rotated squat just to change the way the leg muscles are working. Now I don't feel like a cheerleader anymore, I feel like a little frog.
keep on sucking those bellies back, ladies, so we're not just not doing anything with our bellies. Elbow is close into our waist. Elbow stays connected to the waist, Sylvia, as you come up, Sylvia, it stays connected, connected, connect, connect, bring it back down, connect it in, that's it. Nearly there, ladies. Well, nearly there for this exercise anyway. Still got plenty more to go in this class. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And press last one. Let's go to the wall. Anella, you go where you want. Um, Esmeralda, you're going to go to the wall. I know you don't want to, but we're thinking about your back right now. Um, this is a body shaking class, ladies, so we're doing lots of arms to actually feel like at the end of it, you'll look at your body and go, oh, that looks different. Ten in parallel, ten in rotation, ten parallel, ten in rotation. Remember, the key to a push-up is that you don't let everything sink you must push away from the wall, and then as you come in, you keep your head nice and aligned with the rest of your back. Here we go, 10 in parallel, 10 turn out, 10 parallel, 10 turn out, dropping in, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change positions. Dropping in one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten in parallel and dropping in one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change positions. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. Coming down to the mats. Take your weights with you. Take a pillow as well. Your dog looks very happy there, Esmeralda. He's hot. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a little bit of abdominals. You can do, uh, just to kind of break it up just a little bit, but it's still going to be arms. You can do it with arm weights or without arm weights. I'm going to do it without arm weights. We're going to do the, the, the prep 100 series. We're going to be laying on our backs, 
knees are going to be in tabletop, lower back is going to be flat, head is down. We start with 10 for the arms, just the arms. We then go 10 extensions on each side. We then go double legged extensions and then we're going to do double legged extensions with head and shoulders lifting with little beats one, beat 10 to two, to three, to 10, then 10 back down to one. As we're doing it with the arms, you want to think that that little finger is making a connection point all the way down into our serratus anterior through here. And we're going to pull from the serratus anterior every time we do the action with the arms. Legs up into tabletop, please. Make sure your back is flat on the mat. Taking your arms up. Taking a deep breath in, connect little finger into serratus. Breath out, pull down, one. Two. Suck your bellies down. Don't let them pop back up now. Three. Four. Contract the pelvic floor. Five. Six. Keep that belly down. Seven. Eight. Think of the little finger connection. Nine. Little finger into serratus anterior. Ten. Single leg extensions. Keep your back flat. One. Two, alternating sides. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, double legs, one, two, keep the lower backs flat, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Head and shoulders lift, extend beat one, beat two, three. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. We go back down ten to one. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If it's too much on your neck, keep your head down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, one, two, three, four, five, and six, five, five, four, three, two, one. We're nearly there. Four. Three, two, and one, and rest. You're still not fatting. Hey? I said you're still not fatting. Ooh. Grab your head pillows so you're nice and comfy. Oh. 
Okay. Yeah, I did sneak that in. A little, a little bit of abdominals in that arm series. Okay, again, up to you what weights you go. I'm going to go to 0.5 because I just really, I know that we've just got a little bit more to go still. We're going to lay on our backs. We're going to do a tricep series. So the hands will be starting like that. And they come out on a V like that. And then they come back in towards your chest. So it will look like that. So you come up into a V. That is stage one. So my palms are facing away from my body. They come in and they extend out. And we're going to do 30 reps like that. So let's start with that and then I'll get up and show you the next one. Make sure you're locking down through your back muscles. You're in neutral spine position. Bring it in towards the chest. Extend out. One. Think of using your triceps. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, last ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Next position, same position we're laying on our backs. This time our hands are in towards our chest. We press up and then we pull it back down. Press up, pull back. Here we go. 30 reps and press. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold your arms up there, arms are level with the shoulders, you hinge from the elbow, you do not move the shoulder or the tricep, and then you press up using the tricep. So this part of your arm doesn't move, you hinge from the elbow, press up from the tricep. 30 reps, here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, 
your waist. Make sure, Esmeralda, you're on your point fives for this, please. Opening up, one. Keep that wrist nice and strong. Two. Three. Four. Five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift the arm up, not like this. Shoulder goes down the back, so you activate your serratus anterior. The serratus interior stays on with it with this exercise. Bring it out in front of you and hold, and bring it back. Make sure you can feel this working here. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Hold it out there. Keep the serratus on. Small circles. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Small two second rest. Okay, changing sides, ladies. Yes, I just, just did a spin like a ninja turtle because I can, because I've got this great mat, which I'm going to miss desperately when I go to Fonz. Back on that hard old 450 year old floor. <laughs> Zara don't sell these anymore either, unfortunately. And opening up one. However, I'm very excited because I will be in a new studio when I'm in Fonz this time. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, ten more, ten, nine, eight. Well, ladies, all of your arms are looking beautiful, by the way. So we've made it to summer and all of our bodies are looking sensational, if I might say so myself. Pimped by Studio Australia Barcelona online Aussie program. Wow. Last one, arm up, shoulder down, serratus on, bring it forward and back. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it out there. Circles. One. Little circle, Sylvia. Two. Three. Four. Five, turn the palm, six, seven, so the palm isn't down, the palm is facing away, nine, ten, reverse it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and we are finished today, done. Arms pimped.